So the objective of the FMD Kyoto Securities Exchange and SMB, SMP Dow Jones indices is for investors to be able to track the performance of their investments. That's according to the managing director uh, of the exchange, Mr. Bola Onodele. Now, in a chat with Channels Television anchor Haret Agbeni, Mr. Onodele explains the motive for the partnership with Nasdaq. We had to consider the value to the investors, and for that, um, independence matters, credibility, integrity, um, and reliability. To be able to give an index which will also have global visibility and achieve acceptance, whether to domestic or international investors, we considered it imperative to go for a renowned um, index provider. Um, at the end of the day, the index is not just for you to publish. It's actually for investors to accept that index and then use the index to measure performance, evaluate portfolios, and also for researchers and analysts to be able to use the index for, um, as indicators, economic indicators, business indicators. So if you look at the uses of an index, then um, it helps or it informs, um, the, the users will inform um, the the sort of partnership you have or the quality of the index provider. Um, FMDQ on its own um, has achieved a quality brand, but we look beyond um, the domestic investors. We also think of the global competitiveness of any process um, of FMDQ. Do you think this will change investors' perspectives of the Nigeria debt capital market? It's bound to. Um, I'm sure it's a new world. This news will go all over the world um, very quickly. And it then starts defining um, the path that Nigeria wants to follow. Uh, there are challenges today, but um, as you're aware, financial markets evolve very quickly over time. Uh, but it puts Nigeria back you know, in the, in the, um, to focus. Um, because this sort of partnership with an S&P Dow Jones um, indices is not one to ignore. Um, e even if the players have not, will not on the back of it immediately start making investments, then they understand um, the focus on Nigeria, they keep up with the research, and it tells them that Nigeria is uh, possibly a place to watch. That's the CEO of the FMDQ OTC Securities Exchange. Let's now get deeper to the numbers from that exchange, which is also the over-the-counter market for the Nigerian debt capital market. Data from that OTC shows that the debt capital market recorded a turnover of uh, 10.65 trillion naira in January. The 13.09% or 1.65 trillion naira gain represents a fall from the value recorded in December 2016 with Treasury bills transactions accounting for 48% of the total value. Turnover in federal government bonds accounted for 11.56% while money markets and foreign exchange market activities accounted for 25.34% and 15.10% of the total turnover respectively. We go over now to the NASD OTC securities market as well, where the US side, that's the unlisted securities index, has crashed by 4.39% to a market capitalization of 402.19 billion naira. Now, the volume of what was traded yesterday was 2.840 million and value declined by 16.53 percent and top trades of what you see on the market is rj's bank cscs and the niger delta exploration production company meanwhile a review of securities admitted to the otc securities exchange indicates that only 19 of the 32 issuers whose uh, shares trade on the platform held in our general meetings last year. Um, 11 of the 19 companies accounted for 98% of deals executed on the platform by value. The management of the securities market has, however, announced that it will commence categorization of securities into blue and pink uh, for defaulters, T 
tiers to reflect the quality and age of information available on each of the security markets. Let's quickly review the equities market performance for this last five trading sessions. The stock exchange saw its second consecutive week of declines this year as investor sentiments wane on the earnings released so far. The all share index weakened 1.38% week and week, plunging the market capitalization to 8.77 trillion naira. With over 1 billion units of shares exchanged in 13,586 deals, total market value for the week came in at 8.03 billion naira. And Kevetin was the most actively traded stock with 12.50% gains as USEN led the laggards by 23.79%. The financial services, conglomerates and consumer goods sectors triggered the highest transactions in the market. So barely 24 hours after the National Assembly gave its nod to the federal government's proposal uh, for a billion dollar uh, Eurobond program came in an announcement that the note has been oversubscribed by about eight, eight times. Now with a yield of 7.9% and maturity date of February 2032, the Eurobond beat analysts' consensus that expects the program to be undersubscribed as a result of prior ratings by Standards & Poor's and Fitch ratings. Why did this program succeed? We're about to find out from Niyi Olakunri, who is the Chief Security Trader at Lead Securities and Investments. Thank you very much for coming through on Channels Television and on Capital Markets this evening. Now, um, give me a sentence on why you think this really, really uh, succeeded. Um, well, um, thank you for the question. Um, basically, um, it succeeded because um, the prospects we have in this country is plenty. Right. Thank you very much. I think we really have to go on break, and by the time we come back, we'll have more time to be able to continue the discussion. Stick around. <laughs>